Hey, welcome to edX World, another video in the IGCAC accounting playlist. The entire syllabus of IGCAC accounting has already been covered. You can check all the topics in the syllabus in the playlist. This video is on partnership accounts. I'm going to solve a question on, on the financial statements of partnership and will tell you how to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account, current account and the balance sheet extract. If you want to learn in detail about the partnership concept, you can check my video on partnership in the playlist. I'll also provide the link in the description below. Use that video to understand the concept because there I've explained in detail about the entries, about the journal entries and their effects on the financial statements. In this example, I'll quickly go through the question and solve the question for you. So the question that we have here is M and N are in partnership. The partnership agreement states that the profits and losses are shared in the ratio 3 to 2. Interest on capital is allowed at a rate of 4% per annum. Interest is charged on drawings at the rate of 5% and N receives a salary of 8,000 per annum per year. Following balances are given, net profit is given, capital balances, opening current balances and drawings for the year are given. We need to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account, the current account and the balance sheet. Pause the video here, try to solve the question on your own and then go ahead, play the video, see if your answer matches else you can also refer to the explanations that are given with each entry so that the concept is clear you learn from your mistakes here. So we have a format of profit and loss appropriation account first. The profit and loss appropriation begins with the net profit brought the forward from the income statement. Net profit given in the question is 23,150. We would start with the net profit for the year. To this net profit, we will be adding the interest on drawings that the firm is going to charge the partners. The rate of interest on drawing is 5%. Partners drawings are given M10,000 and N12,000. Let us apply the rate on the annual drawings and calculate the interest on drawings and record it in the financial statements. Next, we will have to deduct our salary, which is M8000, only M is receiving a salary of 8000 per annum and also we will have to deduct the interest on capital that will be paid by the firm to the partner. The capital balances are given 80,000 and 60,000 for M and N. The rate of interest is 4%. Let's apply the rate on the interest, deduct the salary and interest on capital from the profit balance and see how much is the residual profit. So as you can see, after deducting the total of salary and the interest on capital from the profit, we got a residual profit of 10,650. This is also known as the divisible profit. This is the final profit that will be shared between the partners in their agreed profit sharing ratio. And the question has stated that the agreed profit sharing ratio was 3 to 2. So we would be dividing this 10,650 between M and N in the ratio 3 to 2. So as you can see, the final share of profit by the partners are 10,000, sorry, 6,390 6, and 4,260. Next, we're going to prepare the current accounts of the partners. Whatever are the adjustments done in the profit and loss appropriation that would be transferred to the partner's current account. Apart from these, we would also consider the drawings. Let's see how to prepare the partner's current account. So we have a columnar current account. Columnar means in the same account, we are maintaining the current account for two partners on both the sides, debit and credit, M and N. So the current account would begin with the balances brought down for the current account balances. As for the question, M holds a 300 credit balance in the current account while N has a 100 debit balance. So we would be bringing down this balance on the relevant sides first. Next, let us complete the credit side of the partner's current account. So students get confused here as in what transactions would appear on the credit side and what transactions would appear on the debit side. A very simple rule, whatever the firm has to compensate or pay to the partner will come on the credit side of the current account. 
For example, salary paid by the firm to the partner, credit side. Interest on capital paid by the firm to the partner, credit side. Share of profit paid by the firm to the partner on the credit side. So let us record these entries on the credit side. And then on the debit side, we would have whatever the firm is charging the partner. For example, the interest on drawings that will appear on the debit side because the interest on drawings is the charge by the firm over the partners on the balances they have withdrawn for personal use. Apart from interest on drawings, the drawings amount itself will also appear on the debit side because whatever the partners have withdrawn for personal use during the year will have to be reduced from their balances in the firm. Next, we need to balance the partner's current account. So for that, we need to compare for each of the partners individually, whether their credit side is more or the debit side is more. For example, if I do M first, so I can see that the total on the credit side in M column is 17,890 and on the debit side it's 10,500. Clearly, the credit side is greater. So I'll take a total on the credit side of M and balance and write the balance carried down obviously on the debit side, showing that M holds a credit balance in the current account. So the credit balance in M's current account is 7,390. This is the closing balance on 30th April 2021. Now for N, if I check the credit side, it comes to 6,660 while the debit side is higher. It's 12,700, so debit side is greater. It means N holds a debit balance in the current account. Let's take a total of the debit side and write the balance carried down on the credit side. So N holds a debit balance in the current account of 4,040. Now these balances, we will also bring it down. Usually it is required in the question. So here also I will bring down the balances for the next year. Once we are done with the current account, we can now go ahead and prepare the balance sheet extract showing the presentation of capital and current account balances. Keep these balances of M and N, the closing balances in mind. These amounts will be useful in preparing the balance sheet. So here we have the format of the balance sheet. We are going to prepare a balance sheet extract. In other words, we are just going to prepare that part of the balance sheet that will help us present the balances of partners, capital and current account. So once the assets are completed in the balance sheet, the next step is to record the capital and current account balances. So we will start recording the capital account balances. For M, the capital account balance was 80,000 as per the amount given in the question. And for N, the balance was 60,000. So total capital balances held by both the partners, 140,000. The current account balance held by M was 7,390 while the current account balance of N was 4,040 but this balance was a debit balance. Keep in mind whenever there is a debit balance in the current account it will always appear as a negative sign in the presentation of the capital and current account balances or else an alternate way is to present it on the asset side but for your syllabus it is better to present it along with the other capital and current account balances but as a negative number. So the net of the current account balances of both the partners would be 3,350 and the total of capital and current balances of both M and N would be 143,350 and then we can continue preparing our non-current liabilities and the current liabilities to finish the balance sheet but we are not going to do that here because this is just the balance sheet extract. I hope all the concepts related to partnership and the financial statements of partnership are clear here. The preparation of p &L appropriation, the preparation of current account and the presentation of the partner's balances in the balance sheet. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, please share the video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Many more videos are scheduled to be uploaded, so make sure you do not miss any video. I'll see you soon in a new video.